company store data because the data is knowledge, the knowledge is power, and ultimately the power brings money. We get the value of the data from different perspectives. The most uh, important one is the context in which the data is used. Can this data be sold? Is it sold to other businesses? There are decisions about uh, manufacturing, uh, decisions about how to approach the customers. You can better target the consumers. You can sell the data, you can aggregate it, make better decisions on everyday basis. We can always help people gauge the approximate ranges of, of how much their data or processes are worth. Uh, and this really depends on the company. For some companies, the availability of their data is key. For example, uh, if uh, data is made unavailable for a week or two, some companies might lose millions and millions of euros. The curve of company size versus the business loss or incident loss is kind of a linear and quite flat, which means that if the average loss in an incident today is about 3 million euros, companies which have, let's say, less than 500 employees are still seeing damages around 2 million euros per incident. And companies who are on the size of, let's say, 50,000 people, uh, they are seeing, let's say, 5, 6 million and so on, on the average. For example, you have like a CEO that he's going on vacation, he's posting his uh, intents on uh, social networks, he's posting his photos from vacation. At that time, hackers can exploit that information and they uh, craft an email and say, hi, I'm on vacation, please transfer these funds to, to this company. Yeah? And everybody knows in the company he's on vacation and he's exposing his private information that could be used in a successful attack. Traditionally, the industries which we know have different levels of exposure, both because of vulnerability and because there are, some of them are more attractive targets than others. More attractive targets are the entertainment industry, retail, of course, financial health. So those would be, I think, the, the ones which are most exposed and most vulnerable. Uh, most of the incidents have at least three layers of business loss or damage which you see. So typically uh, the first layer is just the, the business loss caused by data. So data underlies a certain business process. If it's damaged, lost, uh, disclosed, there is some kind of direct business loss. Secondly, uh, you have to repair the systems. Sometimes the cost of repair is bigger than the actual business loss because of data. Uh, thirdly, you can pay a fine, so there's a penalty if you are uh, mandated by some kind of GDPR standard, for example, that you have to protect data and you have failed to do so, you will face a stiff penalty. It only talks about personal data, how it should be handled by the company. Now the data management systems are very complex environments that consist of uh, many components. There are some guidelines, uh, especially security technical implementation guides, that do give some guidance how to secure these components, but these guidelines can be used or applied everywhere. Marriott hotel chain, at the incident which they had, I think a couple of years ago, resulted in a $120 million fine just because of GDPR uh, reasons. The first level is you should invest less than your data is worth. There are also models out there which allow you to calculate how much you will lose in one year, five years, or 10 years. I think the most sensible answer is that you should be always gauging the ranges of probabilities and the ranges of loss that you have in your company and basically deciding that you will invest a certain significant proportion of possible loss in prevention of that loss. We help them build solutions which have a certain price tag. And of course, by comparing the loss versus the price tag, they're typically able to say, definitely what I will invest in security is definitely much less than what can potentially happen to me. COVID-19 has increased the risk profile a little bit. It's mostly because also we also work from home. Because users are going directly to internet, they are not acting so safe when they're working from home. All can be uh, pretty safe if they are correctly used and the company implements all the safe features that uh, pertains to a particular type of uh, storage device. 